Did you know that the Sony ZV-10 is still one of the most popular cameras for creators, even a few years after its release? With the recent launch of the ZV-10 Mark II, you might be wondering, is it really worth upgrading to? Well, today I've got five reasons why you might just wanna stick with your original ZV-10 and save yourself the hassle and cost of upgrading. First up, let's talk about image quality. This original ZV-10 is already packed with a serious punch with a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor. This camera, equipped with whatever lens you decide to put on it, delivers crisp, detailed images, stunning 4K video that rivals even some of the more expensive cameras out there. So unless you're planning to blow up your photos to massive billboard size and wanna trade in the 24.2 megapixel sensor on this one to the 26 megapixel sensor on the Mark II, then surely this has got you covered. And honestly, the image quality between the original and the Mark II is going to be negligible for most creators. If you're happy with the sharpness and color rendition that you're getting now, then there really is no need to upgrade. For me, I like to invest in my lenses because the things that this allows me to do is often limited by what the lenses are able to shoot. So this is the Sigma 16 and compared to something like the kit lens, I probably get better shots in the sort of same focal ranges compared to the kit lens, but it doesn't mean that I can't get good shots out of the kit lens. It almost feels different if you're going from an APS-C camera like this to a full frame camera, then this conversation and video would be completely different because in that case, you'd be upgrading to a larger sensor size and higher resolution amongst other things. Let's talk about autofocus. The ZV-10's real-time eye autofocus is already top-notch. Whether you're vlogging, shooting portraits, or filming your pets, this camera locks onto your subject with impressive accuracy. And Sony has fine-tuned their autofocus system over the years, and what you get with the ZV-10 is already enough for most creators. The Mark II might have some incremental improvements, but unless you're shooting under extremely challenging conditions, you're probably not gonna notice a huge difference. This camera is gonna have your back when it comes to reliable focus, so why not just stick with it? The ZV-10 is already a feature-packed camera that doesn't break the bank. You've already made that smart investment with this camera and upgrading to the Mark II might not give you enough bang for your buck. Sure, the Mark II might have a few new bells and whistles, but the cost difference sometimes just isn't justified for most users. While the ZV-10 was dubbed as that perfect entry-level camera for content creators, especially at its budget price for an interchangeable lens camera, and I think it still is. But the Mark II price tag is now close to that thousand pound mark, although I have noticed that the price of it is slowly coming down. But for me, the price of the Mark II is still slightly out of that budget range. But thankfully, Sony and other online stores like Amazon still sell the Mark I. But as I mentioned before, instead of dropping money on the Mark II, why not invest in some quality lenses, a good microphone or some lighting equipment? These might be more likely to make a bigger impact on your content than just simply a camera upgrade. Now I upgraded to the ZV-10 from the Sony A5000, mainly because of the 4K recording capabilities. And if you've seen some of my first videos on the channel, then I was mainly filming with an iPhone. But that need of mine to want to film with a bit more flexibility that a dedicated camera gives you, the ZV-10 ZV-10 came out at exactly the right time and it was one of the best decisions I've made. Now I film almost all of my videos except for this one right now on this camera. talk about the audience that this camera was made for. The ZV-10 is perfect for vloggers and content creators and it always has been marketed that way along with the other ZV cameras, all the way from the ZV-1 to their most premium ZV camera in the ZV-E1. This camera is compact, lightweight and has a ton of features designed specifically for content creators like us. The Mark II might add more features, but are they really gonna change the way you create? The ZV-10 Mark I already has that flip out screen, a built-in microphone, and all the great stabilization that we all love. If you're using the Sony ZV-10 like I am for your YouTube channel or social media, it's already a perfect match. Don't get caught up in the upgrade hype because this camera is already a powerhouse. Let's talk about stability and familiarity. While you've been using this for a while, you get to know it sort of inside and out. 
You know all of the settings, all of the quirks, and how to get the best shots without even thinking about it. Upgrading to a new model means a new learning curve, potential bugs, and let's be honest, probably some frustration along the way. This camera, for me, is a reliable tool that I already know and trust. Sometimes sticking with what you know can save you a lot of headaches and keep your workflow smooth and efficient. So there you have it, five reasons to stick with your trusty ZV-10. And of course, the Mark II has its merits. So Sony's most advanced sensor, those cinematic vlog settings, which are gonna add that dynamism to your shots, that support for vertical shooting, which for me is a big selling point for the new generation of vertical social media content creators, and the fine tuning of the small things like the menu system, the built-in microphone, which on this can be awful at times, and that subject recognition. Wow, that sounds like a lot of compelling reasons to upgrade. Anyway, getting back on track. For most of us, if you do have this, the original ZV-10, it's still gonna be more than capable of delivering the results that you need. Maybe it might be best to save your money, avoid that learning curve, and keep creating with confidence in the kit that you've already got. Let me know in the comments below, are you sticking with your ZV-10 Mark I, or are you tempted by the Mark II, or another camera? If you found this video helpful, press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.